Hello, everybody. Miss Sackett here. And today we're going to talk about our symmetrical mask project. Um, we are still learning about the principle of design balance. We've done some symmetrical practice. And now we're going to discuss what's going on with our project. And right here we have a sample of one of Miss Sackett's projects. And we're going to talk about how to do some of the things that are in this project, in this video and in the demonstration where I actually create a sample mask for you. All right, supplies needed for our symmetrical mask. Um, these are supplies that we have used before for other projects. Um, you need a practice paper and we will be doing the mask the tall way. They will not fit the wide way, they'll be too small. You need a pencil, eraser, ruler, Good paper should be white drawing paper, 9 by 12, or manila paper, 9 by 12. You need a black marker, whether it be a Sharpie marker or a normal marker, and color pencils so that you can get the uh, blending color transitions needed for this project. All right, let's go over the criteria, and this is another sample of a symmetrical mask uh, created by Miss Sackett. The criteria, and remember, um, projects are the bulk of our grade. The symmetrical mask is 100 points. The line of symmetry in the correct place, that's down the center of the face going up and down, right in the middle, is 10 points. The eyes halfway down, and we will be talking about how from the top of the head to the chin, and I've added some stuff, that the eye line is halfway down in the middle, cuts the top and bottom of the eyes right in half. And that is where the eyes are on a real human's face. And we want them to be where they'd actually be in case uh, this was an actual functional mask, which this is made out of paper. So it wouldn't be real good for that. Um, five points, almonds. The eyes are almond shaped or football shaped and they're empty. We're not adding any designs there. If you're at school, you'd be cutting them out. Um, I'm gonna have you guys either fill them in just with the, the black marker, or you can cut your mask out if you choose, but it is not a required element for everybody online. At school, yes. Um, five points, has a breathing apparatus and some kind of mouth. Now see, here's my mouth and this one actually has a nose and I'm saying breathing apparatus because not all creatures necessarily have noses that they breathe out of. For example, an elephant breathes out of a trunk. And insects don't have noses. So that you have something that kind of takes how the air comes in and out of your animal, insect, creature, whatever your mass design is. Because you have a, a lot of play with creativity. Uh, mask has a creative design. So you're coming up the design because it can be, you know, can be bird-like. It can be some kind of animal. It can be combinations of animals. Uh, it can be an alien. So you want it to be unique and creative. Uh, 15 points because this is the focus of our project. 15 points. All designs and elements are symmetrical. Remember, elements our color, shape, and all the parts um, that make it up. And symmetrical is the mirror image, the same on both sides. Um, outline neatly with marker is five points. And remember, you cannot erase the marker, so you want to outline real carefully. Again, 15 points because being symmetrical is the main part of the project. This is 15 points, colored symmetrical, and I will have a demonstration on how to do that as well because it's a little different than just coloring asymmetrical. Colored solid, using blending, and remember you want your colors to mix and meet and transition smoothly from one to the next. It shouldn't look stripy, and it's not solid colors um, where it's just one color. Now, coloring solid means that the paper is completely covered and we don't see the paper through it. Uh, five points, cut out mask carefully. Um, for you, if you don't cut it out, that's a free five points. Shh. The kids at school will be cutting it out. 
craftsmanship, of course, is the overall appearance. Did you do your best job putting forth 100%? Did you follow all the criteria, following the directions that are needed? Is it completely finished? Is it neat and tidy? And that is the criteria. And of course, this slide will be posted so that you can see it separate. All right, these are the basic directions for the symmetrical mask. I will be going over more as we go through the PowerPoint and talk about the step. Uh, step one is to plan the design for the mask. You will have two days and it will have two check-in points. Then you're going to draw the design for the mask on good paper. Remember, there's just two drawing. Your plan is your practice, and then on the good paper is the uh, real project, because we always practice first. Draw under drawing and lines lightly. So our pencil isn't going to show at the end, so it's called an under drawing. And you want to do it lightly because you don't want the pencil marks to show through uh, some of your light colors. You want to find the eye line halfway down. Try and keep the line perpendicular at a 90 degree angle. And uh, use your ruler sheet, and I will show that in the demonstration. And I totally skipped number three, didn't I? Uh, first off, get a trace template. Now, if you created one like I show in the demonstration tomorrow, you can make your own template. Or you want to create a facial shape that fills the page. And the facial shape is an oval shape that's bigger on the top because that's where the brains are and smaller by the chin. And it should be going um, up and down on your paper. The, the tall way, not the wide way. You want to find the line of symmetry that will break the face in half with an equal left and right side. And I talk about that in the demonstration, finding the center of the, the forehead in the center of the chin. Or if you create a template, there will be already a fold there for you to find that line. Then we want to find the eye line, which is halfway down from the top of the head to the chin, right in the middle. You want to try and keep your line perpendicular. That means so it's not crooked on the face, which will throw everything off. Um, I show you the ruler treat cheat in the demonstration on how to create that 90 degree angle, which of course is not perfect. This is an art cheat, not a, a full on proof math measurement. You want to add almond shaped eyes, make sure they are symmetrical and have good spacing. And I also show that in the demonstration. And no design to the eyes. They're going to be empty. They'll either be colored in black or will be cut out. Now, you may add mass, uh, eyes elsewhere on your mask, but the eyes will be empty. No design inside them. Create design for the mask. Add a nose and mouth area. May go outside of the template, so out of your um, facial shape. And add ears and maybe little fur designs or other things that are going outside of the original shape. But it must fit on the paper because your outside shapes have to be symmetrical too. So if you didn't design right in the center of the paper, be careful because you, you want those to, to be uh, symmetrical. You want your design to be creative because you have creative leeway here to turn it into any kind of creature you want or animal or mixture of animals. So it should be cool. Um, it's best to break the face into larger areas and add some smaller designs. You don't want... Um, spots. It's not a spotted dog. It's not a cow. Spots are hard to copy and then that leaves the background empty that you will have to color the whole entire background and then you'll get really bored. So I will show you how to break it into to larger areas so that the surface of the face is not one huge shape. And you also want to um, be able to keep it symmetrical when you color. Keep it simple, like my designs. Mine are not that complicated. There's not a lot of tiny shapes. It's large areas. They're simple designs, but they look cool. Uh, eight, make sure everything creates an enclosed shape. No open lines, because we need the shapes for color. And anything that connects to something else, if it connects to the outside edges of the outline shape, it's going to make a shape as long as it's enclosed. I'm not talking about adding shapes that float on top of the surface. Uh, carefully outline the mask with black marker. Remember, that's not erasable. And 10, we're going to color the mask symmetrical with color pencils using blending. And you want to color neat and solid. And blending is not new, but I will be showing you how to color symmetrical because there's a little trick to that. Um, watch that you are coloring in the mirror image 
or colors will not be symmetrical. And I will talk about that during our coloring demonstration. All right, so the plan. The project itself is 14 days. You have two days to plan. And step one of the plan, and you'll see me in the demonstration, is to create a facial shape. See how it's bigger up on top here? And smaller on the chin. I also, in the demonstration, show you how you can create a template on the practice paper and cut it out and carefully trace it onto your um, planning paper. And if you do that, it will already have a bend in it so that you can find the center. If, if you free draw a facial shape, you want to make sure it's even on both sides. To find the uh, line of symmetry, you want to find the top, the center of the top of the head and the center of the chin. You see how I've made two marks? And then using a ruler, draw the line. And if you want to make sure that it's even, what you do is you take your fingers and you measure the space that's here, the space that's here, space that's up here with your fingers. And I kind of show that in the, the demonstration, a lot of finger measuring to make sure these shapes are just the same distance away from the center line because then you can adjust as needed. Then what we want to do is we want to find the center of the eye line, which I partially did. See right here, there's a mark. And I'm going to measure with my fingers from here to here and here to here because I want them to be even steven, the same distance. If it's not right in the middle, it's wrong and you don't want to draw your line. Test it first. And I do show you how to do that in the uh, demonstration. All right, so you want to find the center eye line, measure when it's even. Then you want to draw the eye line. And what happens is you're going to line the one, the, the inch mark up here with the line that's the, the line of symmetry that's going up and down to draw this line so that it keeps it, it creates a 90 degree angle so that your eyes are not crooked on the face. And I show you the little um, ruler sheet in the demonstration. Make a mark and measure to make sure it's halfway down before drawing the line. Don't don't draw the line. If it's not even, you're going to have to erase it and try again. So just make little marks. And I, I show that in the video. Then you want to add normal almond shapes, eyes, or football. Basically, they curve up and down, curve down and up. You also want to make sure that the eyes are the same distance from the center line. What I did in the, the uh, demonstration is I make a little mark here. And I finger measure it, make a mark there so that the space that's here and the space that here is the same. And then I take this whole measurement to measure for where the eyes are going to fit. Because you want them to be the same size and same shape and same distance from the center line. And I do show that in the uh, demonstration video. Now, this is a check-in point because it's important. If the line of symmetry is off, everything else will be off. And if your eye line's not halfway down, and then you start adding decorations and you have to adjust them, so it's better to make sure you're checking in. Remember, it's halfway. And you want Ms. Aka to let you know before you add any of your designs, okay? And once you get this checked off, you can continue with your designs on the same day. You don't want to wait to day two to start working on the symmetrical designs because I'll be checking for your submissions. So as soon as you get that check, then you can move on. But don't move on until I do check it. <clears throat> All right. Now you want to think, before you start doing your actual mask, you want to think, what do I want my mask to be? Is it going to be a bird? Is it going to be a cat-like? Is it going to be kind of like a dog? Is it going to be a made-up creature where I combine animals? Is it going to be an alien? So you want to kind of have an idea and think of ideas before you start planning. Otherwise, you're going to get lost, okay? So you want to have some kind of, uh, of idea. The design can be a creature. It can be an animal. It can be alien. It can be insect. It can be a human face with designs, but it better be very cool and be broken into interesting, very interesting designs. Most people that think of it as a face do not come up with an interesting design that is creative and complete. Hint, hint. All right, design the face. You're going to break it into shapes and designs. And in the video I started, and this is the actual one that I created in the video, I start with the nose, 
I started with the nose on this one too and create the mouth areas and move out. So that gives me a place to work with. And if you notice, my designs are going off to the edges of pages. First it's broken into bigger areas and then you can add smaller shapes. First you wanna create a design for the mask. You wanna add a nose or breathing apparatus. You need a mouth area. You of course can go outside the template. I went outside the template a little bit. Remember the practice paper if you're using computer paper is smaller than the good paper. My good paper is uh, nine by 12. This one's on manila paper, that's nine by 12. And it gives you a little bit more room because computer paper you lose a half an inch on both areas because it's only eight and a half inches wide and 11 and a half inches tall. And normal paper is nine by 12 inches. So you wanna consider that. And you wanna be creative. You wanna make it interesting. Um, keep everything symmetrical. Yeah, and I'll talk about that in this dem demonstration where I do a little bit on one side, immediately do on the other. Use my fingers to measure to make things, things are out the same distance from the center line. Where do they end on the outer edge of your facial shape to help you keep things even? You wanna draw a little bit on each side. Keep the drawing even, break it into larger areas. You don't wanna end up with a lot of spots because then your background will be huge and you will be sorry when it's time to color. Also, if you have large, break it into larger shapes, you have places that will help you to mark off where things are going. to connect shapes to other things. And that is, is an easier way to keep things symmetrical. Okay, once your mask design is done, you're gonna check in. And it's very important that you wait for my feedback before you move on. Wait for my feedback before you move on, because if there's things that you need to adjust, you don't wanna do the same old thing on your good paper because it still needs to be adjusted. All right, please make sure you're checking my feedback. All right, so the plan, two days. And now we're gonna move on to the actual project on the good paper. Now, the drawing portion, two days. And it's gonna have check-in points just like the plan. Now, in this picture here, I've got the line of symmetry. I've got the eye lines. You don't have to color them in like I did here. That's just a sample that's up on the board to remind people not to add designs in the eyes. And I've added the nose line and the mouth line because I like them to help them uh, me get my, uh, keep things symmetrical and, and place things on the paper. And even sometimes it's good to add one up top so that you have something that you can line your shapes up with while you're drawing, okay? Um, again. You wanna create the facial shape, and of course, if you created a template, uh, trace that. Again, it's bigger on top, smaller on the bottom, and you wanna make sure that this shape is symmetrical. You can use your fingers to measure out to the edges to make sure the sides are the same. Draw the design for the mask on your good paper. You want to draw it lightly. This is an underdrawing. You don't want it to be dark. You wanna be able to erase it. And see my little mess up here is because I put that on the whiteboard in school with a magnet and it's created that mess. But this is just, uh, I have like six different drawings of the same thing. So that one gets placed, used a lot. Uh, trace the template that you made or create the facial shape. You want to find the line of symmetry to break the, the face into right and left side, center chin. Center forehead, make sure it's even. And this is why we have a check-in point so that I can check it so that your designs are symmetrical. Because if that line is off, all your designs will be off. And you wanna find the eye line, measure with your fingers again, find the center, make sure it's in the middle. Use the uh, ruler trick to keep it perpendicular and draw the eye lights. Add your eyes again, measure the same distance out from the center to make sure that they are the same size same distance from the center line because they need to be symmetrical as well. And um, you may choose to, again, cut the eyes out later or you can just fill them in with black marker. 
And again, you may add the nose and mouth line, but it's not a requirement. I like to do it because it helps me to keep things lined up better. And then we're gonna check in. And it's important because if the line of symmetry is off, everything can be off. If the eye line's not halfway down, now, and you start adding designs and you're gonna have to erase and adjust, it's better to check in now, get Masakit's feedback before adding designs. Then again, once you get it checked, continue with your designs because this is now day three and you have day three and four to draw, but you want to start adding your designs as soon as you get my feedback. Don't wait till the next day. Okay. Once you get that check, and remember, you're still drawing lightly because if you have to adjust stuff, you want to be able to erase it. Create the design for your mask. Add the nose or breathing apparatus and mouth area. Let me go outside the template to add ears. So this one has ears. It's got some fur designs that are coming out. I made the face a little wider here. And that's okay. You want it to be creative. Now remember, the design should be the same as your plan, just adjusted as improved as needed. It should be better than your plan, neater. That's why you want to look at my feedback and just things that you needed to from your plan. It's best to break the face again into larger areas and add some smaller designs. You don't want a spotty appearance or it will be harder to color and to keep it symmetrical. If things are out floating in space, it's harder to line them up than things that are stemming off of other shapes already in the picture. Keep it simple, like my designs. They look really cool. They don't have a lot of shapes. Double check, make sure everything creates an enclosed shape. No open lines for coloring. Also make sure the designs are mirror image. That means that they're, see how they're going this way? Because if they end up going the same way, they're not symmetrical. The opposite direction on the other side of the face. And of course, you want to then submit your drawing, get my feedback. Do not outline it. If you outline it, you cannot change anything. And again, you want me um, looking at it to make sure things are symmetrical, are doing what they need to do. Because once you outline it, that's end game. You cannot erase it. Okay. And you want to get my feedback to make sure things are working out. And this is the same thing we do in person is kids come up to me, they get feedback, they go back and adjust things. Just because you submit it doesn't mean it's done. You want to get my feedback so that you can improve it, make sure that you're um, following the criteria for the project. And once you get that feedback and you're good to go, then you're going to outline it with black markers. Um, it doesn't matter whether or not if it's a Sharpie or a normal marker because we're using color pencils and that's a dry medium. And of course, if you want, you can uh, color the eyes in dark so they don't distract you, so you don't forget and add designs or color them because they're going to be left empty. Um, then we will have a demonstration on how to keep coloring symmetrical because it's a little bit different. Uh, the coloring can go up and down or it can go from the center out. But it's got a little bit different rules than just normal asymmetrical coloring. You guys already know how to blend, but I'm going to show you how you keep them even on, on both sides. It will be a, a short demonstration. All right, then we're going to color the mask. So drawing the mask, two days. Outlining, one day. And the color demonstration because it will be short. All the rest of the time should be spent coloring. So 14 minus 5, we have nine days to color if you are staying on track or eight days, eight or nine days, okay? Probably eight. I think it's eight. All right, so from now on, the rest of the project, it will be coloring. And this little guy here, this was uh, my sample for giving coloring demonstrations at one point. Oh. And I switched to those cool designs that you saw um, because the shapes are smaller. And I could do the demonstration quicker. These ones, the shapes were big and it was taking me forever to finish a demonstration. Um, so that's why this one's kind of looking messy and it's got drawing on the side. You know, I do that. This one's really, really old. But anyway, just in case you're wondering why things are not finished on that, that was a demonstration piece at one point. 
Once upon a time, many, many years ago. All right, so you want a color mask symmetrical with the color pencils. So that means whatever color it is on the right is going to be that color on the right. If it's, if it's green here on the inner edge, it's green here. And it's switching to that, I don't even know what that color is called. It's a tealy color. And then the tealy is mixing with the yellow, and then the yellow is over there. So it's keeping it symmetrical. Remember the mirror image. And we will talk more about that when I get to the demonstration for coloring. You want to use blending, which is not a new not a new skill at this point. See, I've got blending here, blending here. All my colors are transitioning from one to the next with a mixture in the middle. And you want to build it up to solid. When you're doing the blending part, it's got to be fuzzy so the two colors look like they're mixing. And it should be neat. You don't want to have any paper showing when it's done. And watch that you're coloring the mirror image or the colors will not be symmetrical. And that's important because remember the designs and the colors both need to be symmetrical because the designs are 15 points being symmetrical, and the coloring is 15 points just being symmetrical. Because that's the whole point. That is the skill we're learning is, is being symmetrical. All right, and here's some more samples. This one is more like a, I call it my insect alien. And this one is actually cut out. That's why the eyes are darked out and it's uh, taped to black paper. That's what the kids on, on campus are doing. And of course, this one is colored but not cut out. And it's a fairly simple design, but with symmetrical coloring. And those are some examples of some masks, which will, of course, you have this slideshow available in online to look at as well. And then, of course, when we're all done, you're going to submit your mask. Remember, good photos, good photos, good photos. I sound like a good broken record but I'm still getting students submitting bad photos that I cannot see and you want Miss Hackett to be able to see it. And remember, you wanna receive feedback and adjust as necessary. That is part of art class is adjusting as we go, okay? All right, have a great time creating your symmetrical masks. I can't wait to see them.